Okay, let's take a gander. We got a package here in the mail from my friend Giuseppe Rosa. So let's get this cut open. I believe there's some Italian Maranzano in here. What's in there? Oh, there goes the box. There it goes. I can smell olive oil. He normally oils these with olive oil from his own olive tree. There's my little miniature scissors. Like the paper packaging. Let's see a little bit of oil in the paper. So. Four or five, maybe the four. Something about that. Got some more of it. Oh, those are cool looking. I like the look of the reed on these. Well, I'm going to keep them in these in this exact order. Right here. See a case? Kind of elastic type of case. Easy. Oh, that's a nice feeling read. A deeper sound. Let's get an ear on these. All right, let's take a gander at these. These are different than La Rosa I've seen in the past where they were bigger and bulkier with extremely stiff reads. This is a lot more refined of a shape. I see fairly consistent, really tight gaps. Looks like the triggers are filled in with a bit of beeswax and the reed goes right through the center of the frame. But what do they sound like? Let's see if we can get an ear on these. I've already sanitized them off, used the, the Mighty Mist. Ooh, mid-rangey. Very melodic. Very flexible read. Definitely better play inward. Oh, very. Those are so comfortable. I like that. Let's hit that with some coconut oil. I oil these off right away. And I will be leaving um, links below if anybody's interested in these. We haven't gotten Moranzano in ooh, two or three years, probably. And these are uh, a lower pitch than the traditional Moranzano are. A little bit wider of a frame. Let's check the gaps. Very tight, pretty close to perfect compression. Ooh, that's high pitch, I love that. Melodic, but there's also a, a faint going on in the background. I'm working. Oh, that's just wonderful, especially if someone's looking for a higher pitch sharp. What is, I wonder what this sounds like. Sometimes you can kind of. Oh, that's going to be more mid-rangey. Oh, strong sound. Nice gaps on it. And I think Maranzanos are traditionally held like this, which I don't play like this, but... Oh, that's that makes a very cool echoey thing. Definitely changes. Definitely changes how you perceive it. 
very loud very good strong sound and the, the triggers I'm sensing the upper end of medium stiffness but not super super stiff let's try this last one it's kind of more the frames a little bit more squished <laughs> looks almost like a mushroom Ooh, I like that one nice trigger shape there is some beeswax in there you could probably uh, press the beeswax or heat the beeswax up push it out of there if you wanted uh, the tune the tone of it to go up even more okay this is definitely the most melodic out of them in my opinion or that super clear bell ring that I always see Oh, that is, that <laughs> is wonderful. I'm tempted to keep it, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in the rotation. If anybody's interested in these, check out the links below. Also, be sure to follow our new channel, The Harpery. It's the channel Porky Miller is gonna be doing lots of jaw harp content on, uh, mainly harp demos, but he may be doing some other things. Anyways, if anybody's interested in these, click, click the link below um, to The Harpery to check these out. Make sure to keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled, and be good to each other. And a big thank you to Giuseppe La Rosa. I hope I'm saying your name right. Pronunciation isn't my strong suit. But a big thank you to Master La Rosa for sending these harps. Fantastic work. Really dig them. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe for more harp, right? Hop out. I think I'm going to play like this more often on the Moranzo. It gives it such a cool echo into your head and I don't know why I didn't know that <laughs> uh, but anyways love y'all are about